<laughs> okay, again, you know the drill. Lunch is corn dog or alternative, carrots and cucumber dip, mixed fruit, cookies, always fun, and milk choices. Ah, the school cafeteria. A battlefield of mismatched trays, lukewarm mystery meat, and social dynamics more complex than quantum physics. But there's one rule that transcends all others, etched in the sacred scrolls of lunchtime etiquette. Oh man, that hot dog looks so good. Could I have a bite? Ah, the rookie mistake. Young Sarah has stumbled upon the cardinal rule of the food chain. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's hot dog. You know the rules, Sarah. Lunchtime swappage is against the school rule of code. Yes, the sacred rule. School lunches, a test of one's culinary resilience, not a free-for-all buffet. You're right, I'm sorry I asked. It just looks so good. No worries. Hey, Sarah, did you know that when we're eighth graders, we get seconds at lunch? Really? That's amazing. I'm so excited for that. So remember, Lancer Warriors be kind, respectful, and enjoy your own delicious lunch. That way, we can create a friendly and inclusive lunch environment at Lincoln Middle School. Middle strong. Hi, I'm Kiki, the newest addition to ASAF. This up and coming Friday, we get to wear our pajamas to school. How fun is that? Pajamas at school? See you there. Good morning, Lancers. Let's do a quick recap. Remember, no sharing food during lunch. Next Friday, or this Friday, is pajama day, so remember to wear your pajamas. It is also our Lancer celebration, so remember the three Gs. Good grades, good behavior, good attendance. We will see you there. Now let's move into our character dare, and our character for this month is going to be resilience, and our first character dare is called Check Yourself. So we want you to do a little check-in with yourself to see how you're doing physically, mentally. Um, watch this video and you'll learn a little more. Lincoln Middle School. A wild, wonderful, and sometimes totally overwhelming jungle. Between classes, tests, and trying to be the coolest human on the planet, spoiler alert, you already are. It's easy to forget about one very important person, you. That's right, you, the amazing, the unique, the totally awesome student being able to navigate this crazy world. But how are you doing? Really doing? Ugh, so tired. I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I'm kind of nervous about the Tessimus Fetners. <laughs> Hold on there, drama queen. You studied, you'll be fine. <sighs> Easy for you to say, Mr. Perfect Score. Not perfect, but I do take care of myself, you know, like a mental health spa day. Except minus the cucumber slices on my eyes. Mental health spa day? Spill the beans, Chad. Taking care of yourself doesn't have to be fancy or expensive. It's about small things you can do every day to feel good physically and mentally. So I got this whole mental spot, but how do I even know if I'm doing it right? Well, there's no one-size-fits-all answer, Brenda. It's all about finding out what works for you. Ask yourself a few questions. Am I eating healthy foods and getting enough sleep? Am I talking to myself with kindness, or am I being my own worst critic? Am I making time for activities I enjoy and celebrating my achievements, big or small? Am I noticing the good things in my day, even if they're tiny? Thanks, Chad. I think I just really need some pep talk. It's okay. Anytime, Brenda. You got this. Now, how about we celebrate surviving another day of middle school with some epic high fives? Taking care of yourself isn't selfish. It's essential. So check yourself. And if you need a little boost, remember, you're not alone. You've got this. So remember, check yourself, it's you time. 